What is going on guys, Little Welsh here and welcome to Insomnius Experiment. So this game is apparently based on the Russian sleep experiment. So if you don't know what that is, so it was basically a creepypasta based in 1947 I believe where criminals were placed in chambers with hallucinogenic gas to try and keep them awake for 30 consecutive days. And within like the first week they all started going insane horrible stuff, tearing their skin off and whatnot, mutilating themselves, screaming until their vocal cords were ruptured. It was a horrible thing, so apparently, apparently this is based on similar events, I'm not sure, but we're getting into this, it's probably going to be spooky, guys, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Otherwise, you don't get your tea. I've said this many a time, it's like, do it. Alright, let's get in. Inspired by the Russian sleep experiment creepypasta. Yes, I knew it. Russian researchers in the late 1940s uh, kept five people awake for 15 days using an experimental gas-based sim sim uh, stimulant. Yes, I knew it was based on that. Oh, gosh. Oh! I thought that was a cutscene. I'm just in this. This looks so cool. Oh god. Oh wow. So we got x rays. What can I do? There's like nothing. I can't run. Oh god, that. That does not make me feel at ease here. Is that someone watching me? I don't know. Can I... I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I here? Why is this a part of anything? Like, why am I here? Why did I decide to come here? This place is all sorts of bad. Can I open that door? No. Okay, so we're just uh, looking through. Anything I can pick up to use as a weapon? Because I'm probably going to be attacked. More x-rays. Whoa. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Doctor. We had them for 15 days. Breathing that gas. Awake. So yeah, the Russian sleep experiment. Okay, that's that. What do I do now? I didn't see another way to go. There was no door that could be- oh. Okay, this door opened. That's fantastic. So there's like little- Okay. Little voice notes. you just imagine like going through that though? Anything I can interact with? I'd like some sort of thing to defend myself. Just like a blunt object I can use to knock someone out. Just so I feel safe. Because I don't feel safe here. I really don't. Nope, I can't interact with absolutely but all. Nothing in here, nope. Alright. This is very eerie. Like, just going through this. Oh, wow. Okay, we're really going into the bad place. And what's with the music? Why did the music just kick in? I'm gonna get chased, aren't I? Oh, there's a thing here. Why'd that be there? After nine days, one death subject started screaming. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then another one did the same. And then the screaming stopped. As well as the whispers. So they all just fell silent. That's what the Russian sleep experiment did. 
God, I could not imagine Jim going through that. That would have been horrific. Oh God, this is like, this is like nothing happening. I feel like there's just gonna be um something big that's gonna happen at the end of this. Why am I here though? Like, why did I decide to come here? More X-rays of the brain or whatnot of the skull. And I'm going deeper in to this facility, which I don't want to do. Can I leave? I don't want to be here. I don't feel like this is safe any sort of way. Okay, open the door. Oh, okay. There's someone in there. There's someone in there. He's been left down here. God, thank gosh I don't have to go through there, but I probably will. After three more days, we couldn't see what was inside the room. Unless I just weren't making any sound either, but... We knew they were inside, according to how much oxygen was being consumed. Okay, so they still knew they were alive somehow. Oh god, I'm probably gonna get like chased or something by a mental person. It's so quiet, dude. Can I. Do I need to twist something? I can't crouch. There's no crouch. Can I open this? Nope. Nope. I just carry on through the hallways. Oh gosh. This is like dark and not good. Oh, is this the gas that they used? No. The doctor announced that they will open the chamber to test the microphones. That the people inside need to get on the ground or they will be shot. And we had a whisper. Oh, okay. We no longer want to be freed. Oh. Uh, what do I do? I, I can't run. There's no, like, run mechanic in this. So he's just saying they don't want to be freed. Do I have to try and escape? Oh, hi. Oh, now I can run. Not running very fast. Do I have to hide? Subject had his abdominal organs removed. The, the doctor was cutting and trying to place the organs back. But they were not people anymore. No. They ate their own flesh, ripped their own organs out. And I looked at his eyes and his mouth curled into a smile. Oh, this is horrific. So they didn't want to be free. Can I not turn some of these off? So he wants to stay awake? Am I meant to do this? Okay. I can't get out. Is he in front of me? I don't know if I should get out. But which way do I go now? This was a dead end. Have you ever died so easily? We are you. We are the madness that lurks within you all. Begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animal mind. We are what you hide from in your pet every 
night we all want you to dig into silence and paralysis when you go to the nocturnal haven where we cannot dread. Um. Okay, what now? I'm trapped. What do I do? What do I do? Can I- I can't crouch. I'm trapped in here? 